Ancient Chinese mirrors are some of the most beautiful and fascinating artifacts from Chinese history. They were used for centuries for both practical and decorative purposes, and they are now highly prized by private collectors and museums around the world. In this video, I will present the production and technology of ancient Chinese mirrors, their composition, tin plating, the difference in technology in various dynastic periods, and how to preserve them safely in a private collection. Ancient Chinese mirrors were made using a variety of different methods, but the most common method was called, lost wax casting. The earliest known evidence of lost wax casting in China dates back to the spring and autumn period, 771-476 BCE. This process involved creating a wax model or positive of the mirror design, creating a clay mold, removing the wax by heating and then pouring molten bronze into the mold. Once the bronze had cooled and hardened, the clay mold was removed, leaving behind a perfect replica of the mirror design. Chinese mirror makers were highly skilled artisans, and they developed innovative techniques to produce mirrors of the highest quality. For example, they used a special alloy of bronze that was both durable and reflective. They also developed a polishing technique that created a mirror surface that was clear and bright. Ancient Chinese mirrors were most commonly made of bronze. Bronze is a durable alloy of copper and tin. Some of the bronze mirrors were coated with tin, silver or gold. The composition of ancient Chinese mirrors varied depending on the time period and the region in which they were made. However, most bronze mirrors had a composition of 60 to 70 percent copper, 20 to 30 percent tin, 5 to 10 percent lead. Tin plating is a process of applying a thin layer of tin to the surface of a metal object. This process was used on ancient Chinese mirrors to improve their reflectivity and to protect them from corrosion. To tin plate a mirror, the cast bronze mirror was first heated to a high temperature. Keep in mind this had to be under 950 degrees Celsius to prevent the bronze from melting. The tin had to be heated to a molten state of 232 degrees Celsius. The hot mirror was then dipped into a bath of the molten tin. The tin was then allowed to cool and harden. This was then followed by various steps of polishing with a succession of finer grid polishing agents such as charcoal. The technology used to produce ancient Chinese mirrors varied depending on the dynastic period. During the Shang Dynasty, 1610 BCE, mirrors were made using a simple casting process. The mirrors were small and plain, and they were often decorated with simple geometric designs. During the Zhou Dynasty, 1046-256 BCE, mirrors became larger and more elaborate. Mirror makers began to use more sophisticated casting techniques, and they also developed new methods of decoration, such as inlaying and engraving. During the Qin Dynasty, 221-206 BC, mirrors were made using a new type of bronze alloy that was more durable and reflective than the alloys used in previous dynasties. Mirror makers also began to use new polishing techniques, which resulted in mirrors with a clearer and brighter surface. During the Han Dynasty, 206 BC-220 AD, mirrors reached their peak of perfection. Mirror makers developed a wide range of new techniques for casting, decorating, and polishing mirrors. Mirrors from this period are known for their exquisite designs and their high quality. During the Tang Dynasty, 618 to 907 AD, mirrors became even more popular. Mirror makers continued to develop new techniques, and they also began to use new materials, such as silver and gold. Mirrors from this period are known for their intricate designs and their luxurious appearance. Ancient Chinese mirrors are delicate objects that require careful preservation. The following tips can help you to keep your ancient Chinese mirrors in good condition. Store your mirrors in a dry place. Avoid storing them in humid conditions. Handle your mirrors with care. Touch them only with unpowdered surgical gloves. Avoid dropping them or bumping them against hard surfaces. Do not carry them long distance. Clean your mirrors regularly using a soft natural brush. Never use harsh chemicals or abrasive cleaners. If your mirrors develop any signs of corrosion, 
take them to a professional conservator. Additional tips for preserving ancient Chinese mirrors in a private collection. Keep your mirrors in a climate-controlled environment. The ideal temperature is between 18 and 25 degrees Celsius, and the ideal humidity is between 40 and 50 percent. Avoid storing your mirrors near heat sources, such as radiators or fireplaces. If you live in an area with high humidity, consider storing your mirrors in a display case with silica gel packets. Inspect your mirrors regularly for signs of corrosion. If you see any corrosion, take the mirror to a professional metal conservator.